Robin of Loxley survived the burning sands of faraway lands as he served his role in the Unforgiving Crusades. He emerged unscathed from deadly skirmishes just to become an exile and face mightier enemies in his own home country. After his previous hideout in Silwich, which was razed to the ground, the forests of Sherwood granted refuge to him and his retinue, while its new rulers threatened all. King Richard the Lionheart's untimely demise plunged England into chaos and left roving bands and their petty warlords free to fight amongst themselves for territory and influence. The Sheriff of Nottingham, a murderer and usurper, exploiting the pervasive lawlessness, pillages one area after another, increasing his power and leaving the poor residents of Sherwood at the mercy of wild fate. I always worry when you're away from home for long, Robin. My good friar, the sheriff will face death well before I do. Hoity as always. I'm just glad to see you in good health, friend. Don't worry. We're not in danger this time. We're safe here. I can't help but worry. After that nightmare when the Crown's men discovered our old home. This time they won't run into us. We're well hidden. I saw to that. The previous settlement was so splendid, too. But I know you all too well, you crafty fox. Fighting back matters to you, doesn't it? What matters is everyone made it out alive. After I defeated Black Henry and freed Marion, the sheriff completely lost his composure. I must stop the enemy before he becomes too powerful. Enemies, plural. The King and the Sheriff don't stop at their own henchmen. You constantly hear about even more scoundrels plaguing the surroundings of Nottingham. King's allies grow in numbers. Some are bought with land assignment, others threatened with death and confiscations. We must weaken the grip of the King and the Sheriff if we are to feel safe here. Definitely, Robin. Why, just recently, Little John got his shirt all cut up. We can't have you all take risks like that. He'll recover. You know him. We each have our crosses to bear. You say so yourself. Well said. You know, you may be right. This settlement seems secure. This time no one will find us. Time to let an arrow loose right into the beast's heart. I believe you, dear Robin. But before you do that, you must regain your strength. Setting up a new village is exhausting work. Eat something. Have a drink. Rest in your home. We'll talk later.
Have you already managed to get some rest? Good friend, it'll never cease to amaze me how quickly you recover. But so little sleep can't be good for you. It's good for you as long as you have water instead of wine, good friar. So you say. But those who sleep long aren't quick to sin. I'll be keeping my wine. <laughs> I knew how you'd react. Take it easy, Tuck. Your cask supply is safe. I should think so. It's a strategic reserve for a time of crisis. Certainly. Not another word. I take it you make yourself so exhausted. You can't keep track of your things. Where's your bow? This time I didn't lose anything. I broke it during a hunt. We've had so much work with building a new village that I haven't had time to craft a new one yet. The forest hasn't been kind to us of late. The worst is behind us, however, and you can take to making your bow in peace. Grab a hatchet and fell a few trees. The wood should suffice for both the bow and the arrows. I have a hemp cord here that should do as a bowstring. That's all the help I need. Thank you, Tuck. A bow is crucial for survival. See to crafting it, but be right back. Our village needs your help. How have you been getting along with Tuck while I'm away? Lately he got the crazy idea of been nicking wine from his pantry. Can you believe it? Well, have you? Of course I have! But he ain't caught me red-handed. You'll tell him that's not your red hand. Hello.
This bow is a start, and it will leave you with fewer reasons to fear. Unless you get on Marion's bad side again and suggest a post in the kitchen for her. Even the purest steel and holy water wouldn't help you then. Time's long past. We've explained things to each other, and agreed I wouldn't make this mistake again. <laughs> uh, speaking of whom, have you seen her anywhere? Calm yourself. No one's lured her into a trap this time. She said she absolutely had to go and help with the locals, so she'll be back soon. That sounds like her. You said you could use my help here? Yes. There are many things we need. Food being most urgent. A better archer couldn't be found in all of Sherwood. Before you set off to take from the rich, perhaps you could use your skills to aid us. I'll gladly try out the new bow. Stoke the fire. We're having a roast tonight. I'll leave the meat in storage. Everyone in the village is working so intensely. A small feast should lift their spirits. Thank you. 
Saints and heavens above, you're back safe and sound, good Robin. Allow me to ask, how goes the matter of our does? Was your hunt successful? How long have we known each other that you still need to ask? <laughs> My eyes haven't failed me this time either. I just hope that there's enough for everyone. Please, make sure they have a warm meal today. By the blessed mother, of course it shall be done. Well fed, and under your leadership, they will soon take up proper work. Hmm. What do you mean by that? The expansion of our settlement, of course. The merry men are starting to run out of breathing room. You are surrounded with many loyal people. Each of them needs a roof over their head. The more houses there are, the more able bodies will have for work. I think I know what you're hinting at, Tuck. Have I become that predictable? Hmm. In that case, I won't beat about the bush. We need wood to construct homes for the village's inhabitants. There's more of us here with each passing day.
There you are. I saw the new building. A fine job. I've always believed that carpentry is an exceptional craft. True. Looks cozy. Well, time for those who live there to earn their keep. Fortunately, none of them expect a free dinner. We have a few tool production specialists here, and if you build a furnace, you will see that for yourself. Tuck, are you trying to use some underhanded ploy to send me out into the woods? God forbid. This time to the quarry. The furnace requires stone. Extract it and watch over the construction. You won't regret it, as we'll need the tools that the furnace provides. Don't even look at me like that. I'll start digging in a moment. Of course, dear Robin. Of course. Wonderful, Robin. You've learned about your duties as head of this village. I never doubted your hunting abilities, but governing a township is an entirely different skill set. As you see, I can manage that too. 
but let's hope no roofs fall on anyone's head. I can think of at least one person in Nottingham Castle who could use a roof collapsing on his head. Robin. Then again, I do feel the same way about the Sheriff's well-being. Anyway, listen to me well now. This is a serious matter. So, you know how to be serious. I do, and so should you by now. The village that we're setting up here is only the beginning. You'll see for yourself that in time we'll learn to function not as a band of forest outlaws, but as a well-organized community. That's the plan. I'll make it so that the people will live free again, safe from the Sheriff's tyranny. Of course, I believe in you. And even if I didn't, that would scarcely make a difference with your persistence. What's this about, then? Why, it's about the people. For now, the ones closest to us. You realize we're surrounded by a vast and marvelous land, and it's inhabited by various houses, groups, and alliances. And they are often not quite fond of each other. I'm aware of that, Friar. Try to win the sympathy of at least a few groups. Show the denizens of this land that not all hope is lost. Having their support means you'll travel the road further ahead with greater confidence. Hmm. Reasonable. Is there something I should start with? Every action taken against bandits or the men of King John and the Sheriff is an action that counts to every one of us. When the King's soldier looks to take some poor soul's head, you stop him. And when you see a caravan laden with royal gold, well, I'm sure you see where this is going. I understand. There are, however, places where exceptionally concerning things are said to happen. They're always like that. I'll ask more about them some other time. Time for me to head out. King's John's treasury won't empty itself. <laughs>